Hey guys, it's me Narelle here and welcome back to a new video. This is not the video I wanted to upload this week. I originally wanted to upload my last sketchbook update I had saved on my computer, but time really was not of my essence. So you guys are going to have to wait for that next Friday, which I promise it will be up because Lord knows I need to manage my time better. So for this week's video, I just decided to upload my fan art of Cook Mean, which is the ship of Jimin and Cookie from BTS because hashtag ARMY. I freaking love this ship. Originally, I was not a shipper and BTS, I just respected them in the visually and I didn't really think much of the source but when I actually saw a video pop up of Jimin and John Cook like it was like a ship video a person made I'm like you know what let me just see how this plays out because I, I actually was interested so after watching that video and many other videos for the span of six hours I'm like I love Cook Man the real they're realer than my life, man. So I'm like, you know what, Nyrell? Just do a fan art to satisfy your urges and you'll be done. And that is exactly what I did. But I actually originally did this picture traditionally and I knew I wasn't going to like it. I like it a little bit more now, but when I did it, I did it on that um, Artist Law watercolor paper, which I hate. And I legit was like, Narelle, this is going to turn out horrible. And it turned out okay, but I knew it wasn't the best that I could do it. So I actually took the picture of the um, line art before I colored it, thank God. And I tr transported that to my computer. And through Medibang, I actually hi I heightened up the saturation to see all the little mistakes and stuff on the picture. And I cleaned it up and I made it look like a line art. It legit looks like I lined it digitally, but I didn't. I lined it traditionally. So, yes for technology. <laughs> but yes, and then I decided, you know what, color it digitally because you're probably going to like it a lot more um, than the traditional version. And I like it more to an extent. It, but I kind of wish I didn't add a lot of the shading. I just kind of wish I kept it one flat shade. So I did actually make another version <laughs> of this picture where it's just less shading. And I think I like the one with less shading more. And um, yeah, so I, it was a whole journey with this one image. But if I had to do this all over again, I would. It's just that. I would have chose better paper the first time around I did it. So yes, so yeah, I used Maddie Bang for this picture, guys. Maddie Bang, and that's all she wrote. The main brushes I use is the wet watercolor brush. That's the only brush I use to color. So if you guys are wondering how I'm coloring miraculously digitally, it's the wet watercolor brush and the pen brush for the black shade. So yes, <laughs> what? that was a mouthful, but um, I'm just going to talk about digital art because I pretty much explained the whole video <laughs> in three minutes, but um, I never really upload my digital artwork on YouTube anymore. If you guys didn't notice, I mainly post all of my digital art on Twitter. So if you guys don't know if I have a Twitter, at Narelle Busby, that is where you'll find all of my digital art because I just don't want to upload it to Instagram because Instagram, it is cropping issues, annoy me. So at least on Twitter, I could just have it uploaded as the original, you know, file size. And yes, and I feel like that works a lot better for me. And I felt like, you know, if I had at least have it one place to post, it's okay. But then I'm like, I loved posting my digital artwork on YouTube as well. Because I like showing you guys a difference in what I do. I don't only do traditional, I do digital as well. But not a lot of people like digital videos for some odd reason. Like they don't get a lot of views. And I don't know if it's the fact that it's not, you know, organic looking. It looks fake. Or it's just a matter of fact, they just, they just don't care to be honest. But I'm just like going back to what, what I'm thinking right now. I'm like, if it's your channel and if you enjoy digital art, why not post it so everybody can see what you like doing. And again, a lot with my content, I always do like fan art of different animes and ships from dramas and stuff that I like. But I never post it because 
people don't like what I like. But then again, if you don't, if you don't have the courage to share what you love with other people, you know, it's kind of, I don't know. I don't want to say it's kind of no point in doing it, but it's kind of making you, yourself suffer in the process. So I'm getting more into the route of just showing everything to you guys. Um, I'm going to hold back on some things, but I feel like I need to share more and stop holding myself back from content that you guys probably will like and I'm just making myself suffer all right so that's pretty much my thoughts on this picture and the whole digital art thing as a whole I actually do still have the line art for this so if you guys really want to color this for yourself let me know and I will give you guys the line art for you to color um I don't know how to make it transparent but if you like transparent backgrounds I try to work something out because I never use them on my work so if you like this video give it a like give me a comment and I guess I will see you Friday hopefully with the sketchbook update yay bye